This video is going to be showing how we can create an X shape model in the platform and bring that into an existing part or assembly in SolidWorks desktop. So for this particular example, we're going to be taking this pencil model and designing a pencil grip around that in X shape. So this is the pencil that we're going to be using for this demo and I'm going to create a grip around it. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is prepare my file so that it's easier for X shape to work more seamlessly later on. So what I'm going to do is take this pencil file and I'm actually going to insert it into a new assembly. And I'll go ahead and save this assembly file. The other thing I have to do in this assembly, besides adding this pencil part, is I'm going to add a separate part file that is going to be blank temporarily. So eventually we'll be using this blank part file as a way to insert our X shape model. But for now, what I'm going to do is create a new part. And I'm not going to load anything into it. I'm just going to go ahead and save it as is. And I'll call this pencil grip container. And the reason for that is because, like I said, it's acting as a container for that X-shape file later down the road. So if we go back to the top level assembly, I'll insert a component and I'll choose the new file that I just created. Hit my check. Nothing's happened because Obviously, there's no data loaded in there, but on the tree, I can see that that was inserted correctly. So I'll go ahead and save my new top level assembly. Now I have to save this information to the platform. Currently, these files are just stored in the downloads folder on my local drive, but I have to push this information up to the platform. So first thing you need to check is to make sure you have the proper add-in installed. If I go to my add-ins list, it will be listed under 3D Experience PLM Services. Make sure you have that activated. So that will appear over here on the right. In this add-in, it's telling me I have these files loaded in this view. And the status symbol, if I hover over that, it's telling me that the information hasn't been copied to the My Work folder yet. So what is that? That is a folder that is by default stored on the C drive, 3D experience, and then it is this folder called my work, parentheses with your username behind it. So this is basically where all of the local cache is stored for the platform. So the first thing I have to do is copy it to that folder. So to grab all of these files at once, I can just come down here and say save active window. So it's telling me that it's going to be copied into my work folder and I'll go ahead and say copy. Next, it will automatically come up with the save window. So currently, the files are in the My Work folder, which is the local cache. However, that information has not actually been pushed to the platform yet. So in order to completely get it there, I have to save it to 3D Experience. And while I'm saving it to the 3D Experience, what I can do is sync a bookmark so that way it's easier to find these files later on. So right now it's opening the bookmark editor. Here are all of my existing ones but I'll go ahead and create a new one calling this pencil and oh where'd it go there it is. Alright so now I'm in my pencil bookmark and I'll come down here to this button to say apply to all. So now that bookmark is being applied to all files in the save window. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And now I can see that the file has been saved to the platform. I'm logged into my platform account online. I've got the X-Shape app loaded on the left and the bookmark editor app loaded on the right. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is focus on the XShape app and I'm going to create a new component. I'll be calling this one Pencil Container and the reason for that is because it's similar to that blank SOLIDWORKS file that we created on SOLIDWORKS desktop. Um, it's basically just going to be a place to store my top level pencil file from SOLIDWORKS. So I'll minimize this and I'll go to that bookmark I created called pencil. And now I'll go ahead and drag and drop the uh, physical product assembly into X shape. It asked me if I want to open or insert it. I'll go ahead and insert that. Notice when I bring in this pencil assembly in the design tree on the left here, it has this little SW icon. That's letting me know that the CAD master, aka the tool that initially created the file, was SOLIDWORKS. So now I'm going to go ahead and start to create my X shape model around this pencil. The X shape model has been created. In the tree on the left, I can see I have these two features. Uh, currently, this is not saved as a separate component. It is just features within this pencil container physical product. So in order to make it its own separate part, I will highlight both of these, right click and choose make component. Right here is where I'll give it its name of pencil grip and I'll hit the green check. As it stands, this pencil grip physical product is its own separate part in this pencil container file. However, in order to get this to work with SOLIDWORKS desktop, we'll have to open this pencil grip separately. Uh, the reason for this is due to a current bug that I think they are planning on fixing soon. Um, but we'll have to open this separately and save it again as a separate file. So I will right click on it. Oops, not that one. There we go. Choose to open the component. And now we kind of have to trick the system into thinking we changed something about this file. So to do that, I'll just edit the sub D surface. I won't change anything. I'll just go ahead and click the green check and I'll hit solve, which is essentially like a control Q, so a rebuild, and lastly, save. So by doing this, it's now saving a .sld XML file extension, which we will use to bring into SOLIDWORKS. I'm back in SOLIDWORKS now, and I'm gonna go ahead and reserve this top level file. And what I want to do in order to import my X shape model, my physical product, is I'm going to go ahead into the blank container file that we created earlier. Currently, it's telling me I don't have this reserved, so I'll just go ahead and do that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and insert this from the add in into my SOLIDWORKS area. So, one way that I can do this is I can actually open up the bookmark editor in here and go to the appropriate bookmark and behind the scenes I have went ahead and saved the pencil grip which is the name of the physical product that I created in XShape. I saved that into the appropriate bookmark so now I'll just drag and drop it into the SOLIDWORKS modeling area and now it's inserted that, so if I go back to my top level assembly, it loads this data in here. So now to solidify those changes, 
I'll come back and save the active window and now it's going to let me save the pencil grip because it recognizes the part it has a CAD master aka the tool that created it of SolidWorks which is why I'm able to save this change into the platform so from here I can go back to the platform uh, make edits to the X shape model and then I would just have to come in here to the pencil grip right click and say reload from server so that way it refreshes the information from the platform Thank you.